Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Pocket Captains Presents Pixel Starships. Good job. Where we are going to show you what the level four starship looks like recently after the AI was added. There was a small change made because they were all standing like idiots in the same room, which was not a good way to, to go. Um, but otherwise, nothing's changed since the last time I've explained this AI. We're going to do a review head to head what the ship or how what the ship can handle when it's being attacked and how well the AI handles it. And this is Eric. I'm here again as a second commentator. I haven't seen these before, so it's my first shot. Uh, round one. So as always, the attacker, the aggressor's on top, and the poor noble defender's on the bottom. Looking at defender, top guy is stuck in construction. Bottom guy has a level six shield, so which is being attacked and fixed. So one of the guys, the level 11 guy uh, in the brown, he obviously has the quick running pants. When you're doing AI, you have to think about things like that, about what they're wearing. Obviously, he's a quick def uh, repair guy. He'll run back and forth. You want to keep him going. Stamina is what makes him go faster. Uh, so the, the bottom guy is attacking uh, mostly the reactors I've seen, and they're being fixed almost as quickly as they're being destroyed, which is very annoying. Uh, guy walks in, fixes it, and you don't hit him because he walks out too quickly. I think the top guy, obviously he outclasses the bottom guy. He's got two missile bays. And I think he's using hull crackers, those penetrator missiles. Uh, yeah, top guy is, uh, he's bizarre because his guy was staying in the TT room while the other reactor was being destroyed. Um, don't know why. Now the bottom and crew is down to, <clears throat> down to five guys. So they're still able to defend. Um, oh, sorry, the top guy is, is not AI, he's being moved. That's why these guys are not so automatic. Uh, he's finally sent another repair to the reactor. Um, it's down to just two guys. For a lower level ship, the bottom one, the AI is not doing badly, except they're concentrating now on the weapon room, the top missile laser, and of course they're all bunched up in there. So they're getting hit as they fix, so they probably won't survive, and they're dead. So one of the things we have to fix is we have to make sure that each crewman is sitting in a designated room. That means whatever room we're going to hit, they're toast. One of your guys are going to be toast, but not all of them and not at once. Yeah. The attacker, uh, he's fixing pretty uh, pretty effectively, going from room to room. Uh, he might just win this one because he's got the guy fixing the reactors as they're being hit. And all the crew are dead in the bottom ship, so I'm leaning toward the top guy now. The ship is superior, and he still has crewmen left that can fight back. Yeah, the bottom one's lost the laser, and it's over. Yeah, so yeah, the hull penetrators really did an number on it. There wasn't anything to repair when a hull yeah. penetrator attack. Strategy attacked. I've seen often, where you just con concentrate on the one room with the penetrator and just beat the poop out of it. All right, and again. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. So now there's another mistake I'm considering for the bottom ship. Part of the AI also has to consider. Uh, ship layout, not just what they're wearing. Now, you notice that I put the reactors in the front. and But where do they stand typically? Well, they're standing in the back of the room. So if something, let's say they're targeting the reactor, it's a favorite hit, or the shield generator. They'll have to cross the entire room from the left side of the room to the right side of the room before they'll start fixing the generator. That's a time when the machine's getting pounded again and again and again. See, now the little brown guy, he just went in to do an in and out. Now, he's pretty fast. But he had to cross the entire floor from the missile to the shield generator, fix it, then cross all the way back an eternity when he's being hit. So if you have a, a room that you know they're going to target, make sure the crew that you want to fix it is always standing in the room to the right of the room, never to the left of the room. Uh, same tip for elevators. Your guys are often waiting for the elevator if it's not on their floor. So if it's in a room that's often attacked like miss shields or reactor and they're waiting for the elevator, they are getting hit. See, I'm thinking we'd redo the ship completely. I would definitely put the shields and the missiles, missiles being a unique room, so it's a favorite target. I would put them on the far left, then the reactors, and then the, the missile room on the far right. And then I would put some guys in the reactors in the middle so they could just pop in, fix the shield, and pop out again. It'd take them a half the time, that it, well, even a quarter of the time it's taking them now. Yeah, Defender could use a little... Uh... Moving them the rooms, for example, there's an elevator right, right to the right of the shields, which is useless because nobody's going to go to the gym room. That could be replaced with maybe some armor for the shield. 
Uh, there's I'm seeing on the defender some there's some armor next to the bedroom. It's helping the reactor, but it's being wasted on the the minerals and the bedroom. So is you you're saying you'd put the shield up where the gym is now? Uh, no, I'd remove the elevator between the shield and the gym and replace that with some armor if possible, or uh, move the rooms around so maybe the not so many armor is wasted on like the mineral and the bedrooms. See, that's a good idea. Maybe if we put the gym on the bottom to replace the gas, and then, uh, yeah, put the gas up on top. Nobody needs to go into the gas room. So we could take that elevator out, put armor there next to the shield generator, and then um, just maybe maybe put a duct between the missile and the gym, just in case somebody is training. Because yes. frequently they're training when you're, you're offline. Right, you're right. Elevator is not useless. Sorry. Yes. And then, yeah, but we could put a duct there instead between mm-hmm. the missile room and where the gym would be if it replaced the gas. And then we could still get some armor benefit even for the missile room. Yeah. Don't worry about the, the gas rooms or the gym rooms. Rooms that don't have a health bar uh, are practically indestructible and they don't really hurt the ship. So they're never targeted. You can't even tar- target them with AI. Now, you know why the armor is there, don't you? It's because I have surplus minerals and I thought I'd use this time while I'm training up the ga- and the gas I need. I said, well, I don't want to waste anything. So I put every bit of armor on the ship I could so I could armor, you know, level up the armors for the day when I really need it, saving me some, some minerals where maybe later on it's a little more precious. So I don't know if you caught that, but uh, Peter just admitted this is his ship. Oh, yes, this is my ship. Well, I want to do your ship. I want to do one of these rounds with yours too. I mean, we can set that up. Of course we can can do head-to-head uh, friendly fire so now you have you got something besides the level seven pirate ship i have a level f- six uh starfleet level six or five five sorry five okay so yours is further ahead than mine by one level yours is more like the one on top by the way the level five one is the admiral of the pocket captain's uh, starfleet so if you want to join join And if you want to go to our website, go to www.pocketcaptains.com, where very soon now we're going to have a forward slash Pixel Starships, which is an area devoted just to Pixel Starships people. Pocket Captains, of course, looks at all strategy games, but right now we're most excited about Pixel Starships, and we're concentrating there. We're not talking about the battle at all, so I guess (laughs) that one was, it was a very long battle. Uh, The ships were actually pretty evenly matched, that's why it took so long, not very exciting. But once the crew's dead, uh, that's pretty much over. Well, the other thing is, too, at this level, they they used hull penetrators to great effect. But now they have two missile bays. They could get away with that. I've tried using hull penetrators, too. In fact, I think the ship is using hull penetrators. But you notice it wasn't nearly as effective when you only have one missile bay. I mean, each hull penetrator does, what, one point of damage? I don't know the math. It, it's so hard to decipher. I wish somebody built a website on that. Maybe we should. No, I've already done, I've already looked at it. And basically, a ship at this level has something like 16 hull points. So that would have been 16 penetrator missiles. All right, second battle. The crew at the bottom, defenders, same rooms to start. Uh, the attacker has lots of shielding, but uh, command room. Uh, well, the attack, the shielding is less than the defender. But he's got a lot. But it is nice to see more of these ships in, in battle. The. Uh, what are they called? The quick, the quick silly. Oh, I forgot I the name of these. The miners. The miner ship. They are pretty rare. I call them the miner ship. People, people want to be pirates or they want to be. Okay, so the, I'm looking at the defender. The guys uh, were staying in the reactor room, getting pounded back and forth. That wasn't uh, some good AI. As they were trying to fix the, the room at the bottom, they're getting hit and hit. And, and they're all going in the room to repair at the same time. See, another they should be staggered better. Yes, that's another issue with your AI. Uh, try to get your guys there, not all bunch up. So how would you stagger them, though? Uh, I usually try using space for their start room, but then you might want to just give different commands to everybody. Like two, three guys are for reactor, two, three guys are for missiles, uh, weapons. But it's kind of hard, especially when you're towards the end of the battle and you, you start, why isn't he fixed in the reactor? Well, his job wasn't that, so... Uh, maybe there's some trick with the AI. If the ship is lower level, you can do this. Uh, so back to the battle. So the attackers react. One reactor's gone. Second one's being attacked. He only has two reactors. Oh, sorry. That level only two reactors, right? Yeah, I think it's a lower level ship this time. Or actually, it's comparable level to the one we're seeing on the bottom. But um, maybe the layout. The layout's more difficult in the mining ship because it is vertical, which means you have it. You have a necessity for an elevator 
and it makes the layout more of a challenge when you're programming the EAI. Yeah, especially higher levels where the ship is almost completely vertical. Maybe that's why, because it's such a challenge, it's not as popular. I will try one. I haven't tried one yet. My next one will be that. Do you think he's controlling this AI by hand, or is this just... Uh, it's hard to say now, because he's dead. <laughs> uh, one issue, very dangerous, his shield room is isolated. To the right, I'm talking about the attacker, so if somebody destroys that shield room and kills the person inside, nobody can fix it. So you just start pounding. If, if somebody's targeting specific shield room, he is dead. Yeah, in this case, that would have been an effective attack. Unfortunately, it was AI controlled, and they didn't know that, so. There's no AI to say if room is isolated. If there was, these battles would be over a lot faster. Okay, let's pay more attention to the battle this time. <laughs> okay, so defender and attacker have about the same amount of weapons. Uh, reactor, oh, uh, attacker has lower level reactors, so maybe less energy. Definitely, that's a problem. On the other hand, his shield's less, so he's going to draw less energy. But it's not as well defended now. So, uh, And why did he attack with his command center on board? Probably had no other weapons room at that level. Uh, so I'm thinking this was uh, a failure of AI. Cause he could have put a bed... Uh, no, he's got two bedrooms? Yes, he's got two bedrooms. Yeah, this is a case where human beat AI, because the, the ships were... I'm thinking the defender... No, the AI one. The A one? No, the the bottom one lost. It was victory. The bottom one lost? It said victory, so the defender lost. Oh, okay. I thought the bottom one won that one. Well, maybe I'm not paying enough attention. I saw their reactors go, and I just assumed the top one... Well, see, that's it. You're, you're right. I wasn't paying enough attention to the, the battle. Certainly the top one's losing reactors. Um, so the missile bay is level four. What about the top ship? Is that, it is a missile two, level 2, so it's not as equipped for missiles. It's definitely an uphill battle for the upper, for the top ship. Probably, if they won, it was due to some manual controlling there. Very likely, yes. Also, the crew is... The crews are bad for being comparable. Yeah, I'm thinking it's manual because the, 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 the guy trying to fix the reactor is not moving, so it's, it's human intervention, which is usually the case in attacking yeah definitely the, the the ai problem in this round is again bunching up in the same rooms those two guys in the top missile room of the defender ship they are uh, sitting there bunched up uh, they're not being very effective they're just big targets i would hit that once you kill a crew the battle's pretty much over so finally the I'm not sure what the command was, but the missile, the laser guys decided to go fix the reactor. Uh, in that case, it's reactor. These are the secondaries. Mm -hmm. The primaries will go if there's any damage, less than uh -huh. 100%. But the secondaries have been said less than 50%. That's at least some effort to keep them from bunching that's up. A good, yeah, it's a good uh, effort to try to stop the bunching. Now they're hitting the bottom reactor. Certainly it's reducing the power of the top ship. The bottom one's had full power the whole time. It's even got its shield up. So, realistically, there's no reason why the bottom one shouldn't win this one. They're shooting just regular rockets, it looks like. In slow motion, that was a regular rocket. The top one can't keep his ships even powered consistently. What he's fixing? What's the bottom one shooting? The Defender is shooting hull crackers? The, the Defender, I believe, is shooting hull crack, uh, penetrator tor uh, missiles. No, normal missiles. That's a normal missile. It's a regular rocket. Okay. So, barely any damage because the, guy's fi the top guy's fixing his rooms. Yeah, he's just going back and forth and maintaining repair. So, we can't see the health bar of the bottom ship, of course. It could be if someone were to fire penetrators, it, we wouldn't know it. But with this the single missile room at the top, I don't think he is. I don't think he's leveled up enough for penetrators. So now that he's taken another hit, personally, by the looks of it, due to the slowness of the rockets, there's a chance he might get killed just because the rocket fired too late. Nope, the rocket hit the top reactor room. Yeah, this battle was, wasn't fast enough to, <laughs> to have in slow motion. We're, we are waiting for this. Uh... No, I'm also thinking about the AI, though, of the weapons systems. I mean, looking at the choice of targets, they're hitting the reactors. 
The bottom ship always defends by hitting the reactors. Lately, I've been wondering, I'm looking at this. Look at the number of health bars the reactor has at level six. That's what, uh, eight? Looks like six. Six? Uh, one, seven. Seven, levels. seven. The one above looks like it's got six health bars. You notice by targeting the reactors, they have to wear through all those health bars. But now look at the weapon systems. Two or, each. Or the shield. You're looking at shield level four and shield level six. Shield level three. Exactly. It's got three health Both bars. Both have six. Three. What do you think about hitting? Oh, yeah. The, there's no defending repair guys in the, on the top ship anymore. So the, I guess the bottom one won. Huh. But if the bottom one lost, I'd be re- uh, freaking amazed but at this it point. For sure, it said victory. So usually victory is, is a victory the for somebody. All right, whatever. <laughs> somebody won. No, yeah, yeah, it was victory for the atta- uh, defender. Well, remember, oh, I'm right, the defender, right. so it's from my point of view. From your point of view, you're right. You're right. Sorry for the confusion. So, what do you think? What do you think is a better target for AI of weapons? Turrets always an always easy hit. Uh, it's very small. How do you specify a turret though? I think it's through the laser. AI. Oh. Hmm. I'm still going for the reactors myself, but I'm higher level. Now, here's a case of another higher level ship attacking a, uh, a lower level ship. That's like a level 5 versus level 4, because he's got three reactors. Yes, it is hard, kind of hard to see the difference, but if you look at the the top right of the ship, you can see there's uh, the, the shape's different, but not much. Uh, ship silhouettes are, are kind of tricky. Yeah, we're going to work on building a document of ship silhouettes. You can tell at a glance what you're up against. So anyway, the attacker is attacking the weapons. Which is, we were just talking about, was that an effective way to go? Maybe attack the weapons, though, because people were stacked up in that room and it was just too tempting a target. You're right, because it looks like a manual, because now he switched to shields. Yep. And is he, the, oh, what no, is he hitting sh- him with? Uh, I, I think he's splitting his weapons. Half shield, half... That's a, uh, that's a penetrator. And yeah, that's, that's a penetrator. So they do, penetrators, believe it or not, do actually damage crew and systems. It's just very, very, very slowly at one-tenth of a, of a hit point per. But over time, they will do the damage that's necessary. Now, that bottom ship is not looking very good. It's lost its weapons. It's lost its crew. It's, uh, I think this one's going to be over a lot faster. It's a dead ship flying. Top one, the bottom one's still trying to hit the reactors with everything it's got, and it's got not much. Was that a penetrator or a rocket? I didn't know. Sorry. That's a penetrate. Yeah, the bottom one's now firing penetrators. Which is hurting the ship. Uh, we can't see the health bar well, for the next video, I guess. Yeah, when well, that's the nice thing. When you're up against a tougher opponent, there's just nothing for a better opponent to fix. And you can beat tougher opponents with a penetrator missile. All right. We'll see if there's anything uh, interesting we missed on the first pass. What's interesting is they went after the missile room, which is probably what, look, there's two guys stacked in there. It's a pretty tempting target. Uh, I would have gone to the bottom one because there are three guys in there's there. There's three guys in there. But let's see. Maybe he changed his mind. Maybe he was hitting the shield it could and st- drew people up. It could still be AI because I'm thinking two on, on the weapons, two on the, the shields. I don't know because right after the missile room was destroyed, I immediately switched to the shield room. I don't know what the AI command would have been to do that. So here comes a rocket. Rocket the shield room. Two rockets on the shield room. And that's brought, now they've got three guys stacked up in that room. Now he's switched. The shield room isn't destroyed. That's got to be personal control. There comes a rocket. One hit. That's weakened them with a blaster. The shields are up. Doesn't matter. I bet the rocket hits them. Yep. Yeah, you're right. It's manual. Yep. Here comes another rocket just to put. He's taking out the crew. Yep. The crew's gone. That was a good tactical decision, but it's a, it doesn't do the AI any good. So. The stacking, again, is still a problem. Yeah, try to assign guys to their own room so they're always in the uh, a waiting room, like what they like to call it. Now, if I remember correctly, when I did this AI, I have one command in there that says, if the ship is greater than 50%, I specified a room. That's basically saying, look, I know there's stuff going on, but don't sweat it. If it's, if it's still in pretty good shape, stay in this particular room. And that's where I specified a room. And at the time, I think I said, if ship greater than 50%, choose the, the laser room. So that's basically their hangout place while the ship's getting pounded. Is there a maximum number, number of people in a room? Because as you see, first one's on the left, second one's on the middle, third one's on the right. Three. Uh, three is the maximum Three per is room? the maximum per any room. I did not know that. Well, maybe I'm wrong because the last time I said you needed the guy in the hangar bay to launch and you said you didn't. 
that so was a retraction. I have to, I have to, I have to reexamine that. Oh, I may be wrong. I, I mean, I could never get a fighter to launch until I got somebody in there. And now you're telling me maybe it's not necessary. Well, so. I tried it without, and it worked. So maybe coincidentally, you figured out the uh, the AI needed as you put the guy in. I even tried to do it manually hmm. with a manual override. It would not launch a fighter. So maybe there's something else I did wrong. I'll have to look at that hard. So what when he hit the um, when it worked when he first hit the missile room and it went down pretty quickly at two points, why didn't he stay concentrated on the missile room? Are you talking about the attacker? The attacker, yeah. Oh, no, no, sorry, the laser. He attacked the laser? Yeah, sorry, he attacked the I, laser. I think he was uh, just taking out the crew. Now, he's taking out the lasers. Why go for the shield? Um, Is that just just to make sure for shield, fun? Just the shield doesn't come back up, then he can destroy. I would have just stayed concentrating on the beam rooms and just take out the ship right then and there. I mean, yeah, it's helpless. If the shield keeps going back up, it's annoying, and you're waiting to be able to shoot through it. Well, he did get it over with quickly, so it was a mercy. And it's over. I oh, poor defense ship. We hardly knew thee. Well... It's not doing well against superior ships, but when you're doing these battles, remember, it isn't about the fact that it's a superior ship. It was my mistakes in the AI that caused the loss. We were actually holding our own pretty good a couple of times there. Oh, right, a pirate. And the pirate's got a level 7 shield. That's good. Six lasers. Oh, wow. He's uh... But only two reactors. He's... Isn't that interesting? He didn't go for the third. So he's a level above you, you think? Oh, he's easily a level okay. s level five. Easily. All, all his weapons are above you. Uh, engine. His gas chamber is nine. It's yeah. only one above mine. So everything's above your level. We'll see how you... Oh, you missed because of the engine. Yep. Engines do play a role in the AI as well. Lots of little things. Now, he hit the, re the, the laser. He seems to be going for lasers on purpose. I don't think it was because they were stacked. This might be an AI battle. We'll see what the defenders do. It's a... Uh... They stack themselves in there to, in the room that's being targeted like good little lemmings. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking the attacker is using manual. Because, ah, and I see oh, what... sorry, maybe not. The defender's hitting the lasers. He switched to a laser. Like in this case, I think I changed the AI to see what would happen. So now we're hitting the lasers. Uh, yeah, the top one is manual because I just saw him. He, one guy went to fix the laser and then went to a gas room for no reason. Just to, so he doesn't get hit. Maybe so. That was actually good planning on his part. I wish and you could do penetrator that. missiles too by the defender. I wish you could do that in the AI. Send somebody to like a gas or a bedroom, so you know. Yeah, that would be really nice because it can't be targeted. But I guess that wouldn't be fair. So, yeah, this is uh, the the bottom one is actually not doing bad job of taking out the enemy weapon system. But all the bottom crew is dead. So. Well, yeah, and they're really taking out the reactors now. Yeah, so the attacker is concentrating on reactors. It seems. Mm-hmm. And uh, with minimum crews on the top to defend it, how many bedrooms? He has, he has enough for six crewmen. I guess with the, the defender uh, took out three crewmen. There's at least one dead that I know. Two, I see two, three, oh. at least two dead that I can see. Yep, so definitely, if I were to do this again, rechange the orientation of the rooms, program everybody to stay in their own room and not to pile up, which means because you can't actually choose You've got two reactors. You can't say which reactor they're going to stay in. Give a good split of rooms for all your crew to stay in. So even if they there might be two in the laser room, for example. So uh, top guy, yes, but has uh, the six crew. Yeah. Um, top guy, uh, the attacker is definitely manual because after he destroyed the first reactor, he just kept pounding it. So he didn't. The uh, if it would have been AI, it would have switched to the other reactor. So this is uh, human versus AI. So a uh, higher level human versus a low level AI, um, ouch. You notice he kept the bridge on his ship in favor of a third reactor so he could have the option to escape battle if he wanted to. That's a good way to go if you're trying to build up gas. You hit somebody, you, you don't like it, you run away. You hit somebody, you don't like it, you run away until you find a good target and you hit it. The daily, All in. The daily missions are pretty good for gas. I mean, you can get like 100,000 just doing your dailies. Or maybe not that much. But you can get depends them. on the level of the ship. True. It's... You know, I'm quite impressed if I get two thousand gas at level four per daily, and then say about eight of the or no six to eight of them actually give you gas as an offering. They give you gas. <laughs> they give me gas. He tricked me into saying it. Yes, they give me gas. 
So he's also right about the gym. There must be something better we could have put on there. We reorient the gym. We shield the armor up the shields. And we put it so that the guys aren't spending any time in a room when they're actually fixing it. See, that poor mama is at the far right side of the room to fix that. And look, they all lined up nicely uh-huh. in the, in the laser be, room. Just to be shocked. Yeah, just talk about the layout again. If you look to the right of Defender, that gas room is surrounded by three, five, uh, five armor. Uh, the top three do nothing. They're helping the, the gas and the gym. So that's uh, it's always a good armor. Now, here's an interesting tactic, though, when you're when you're planning... Generally speaking, it's worked well for him to attack the laser room. But one of the interesting things about the laser room, if they weren't standing there, if that wasn't their home room, the hard thing about hitting, uh, trying to, I mean, you, it's really important to kill the crew. The hard part about it is if you pick a room with only two health points, because they could literally drop into the room, pop up the two points and drop out again, and you never hit the crew. True. The nice thing about targeting reactors, especially with seven hit points, is they're going to linger there a lot longer. And while they're fixing it, you have a better chance of actually hitting the crew. So there is something in the in the benefit side of the column for hitting a, a room with greater hit points. I just like hitting the reactors, leave the ship unpowered, and then casually destroying it. Yeah, it can be annoying, though, when you have like seven or eight hit points, and the guy goes back and forth from room to room, and he can repair them faster than you can take down those seven points. Very annoying. Uh, so yeah, so now that he's taking out the crew, the attacker is just concentrating on that one reactor, and that's what was, he's going to be hitting for the rest of the match. So this wasn't exactly a resounding victory for the defender, but it wasn't about showing how, you know how brilliant the defender is. It's actually showing the weaknesses of the defender, so that and what we would do about it to to shore up those weaknesses. Our recommendations. Uh, I don't know if it's a question of rooms or levels, but I, at that level, I never found the AI that useful but right now i'm level seven i'm finding there's more options more things to do uh, i'm teleporting crew on the other ship there's a lot of things go- a lot more things going on not so much defending as attacking if i'm being attacked so uh it's, i think it's more successful later on so but don't don't give up on it get comfortable with your ai know what you can do one of the things i do though is i use i, I like the good foundation of ai that i'm establishing here and when i get a teleporter i can add a command or two and look at changing the order i'm but- nodding Sometimes he's nodding. Can you can you hear that? But sometimes you know your teleporter is disabled immediately. Your sh- your your crew can't just stand there going, "Oh shucks, I haven't got a teleporter." They still have to run around and do their job to keep the ship running. So Plan B, even though I have a teleporter guy, all my teleporter guys know how to repair all the rooms just like they always did. Yeah. Uh, pro tip for later on: a lot of people don't think about fixing the teleporter. So you have somebody in the teleporter waiting waiting to beam out. And nobody's fixing it, so he's just there getting shot at or doing nothing for the rest of the game. I have a tricky time with that. I mean, I have a commander that says if the teleport my for the crew that's teleporting over, say if the enemy room is such and such points, go you know attack that room. That's easy. That's the teleport one. But I also have a commander that says if my teleporter is below so many points, you know stay in your room, which means fix it. But it means frequently if it's attacked during battle, I'm beamed over to the other ship and I keep Come popping back. back. Yeah, so I haven't found a way to overcome that problem. So we're done. Um, that was fun. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you benefited from it. Uh, we enjoy putting it together for you. If you like this and you want more, please feel free to like the video and subscribe to PocketCaptains.com on YouTube so that we can continue to provide uh, more performances like this one. And uh, if you want to, don't be afraid. Join our fleet, uh, PocketCaptains.com, the fleet uh, in uh, Pixel Starships. Uh, we're, uh, I guess I call it a trainer fleet, so, it's, uh, sorry, uh, a starter fleet. So if it's your first fleet, you're not sure if you're going to be playing uh, enough for the uh, the bigger guys, uh, just join up. We're about teaching the game, learning the game. We're not going to kick you if you're not uh, participating. And if you feel the fleet's getting too uh, small for you, you can go to higher, bigger things. But it's, I think it's a good starter fleet. So I think that's about it for all for us. Uh, I just want to say, remember to have a little bit of fun every day. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Thank you. Get more tips at pocketcaptains.com.